What's up, gang? What's up, gang? What's up, gang? It is your friendly neighborhood professional homegirl, and I am back with another motherfucking video. Okay, you guys have asked me a few questions on Instagram since I've been sharing my journey with raw veganism. You've asked me questions around, well, how do I get started? What are you doing? What are you eating? Things like that. And so I am here to answer those questions, and I'm really excited because this has been such a great um, and rewarding journey for me. So I'm excited to share what I'm learning with you all and hopefully inspire you on your journey, whether it's into raw veganism, whether it's into uh, pescatarianism, doesn't matter, doesn't matter because what I'm going to share with you today can apply to any nutritional shift, um, to be honest. So if you see me looking down, I have my list of tips on my phone and that's just what I'm referencing, but let's uh, jump right into it. Number one know your why why is it that you're seeking to make this lifestyle shift um is it because you want to lose or gain weight is it because you are trying to cure yourself of some sort of physical ailment through food what is it what's your why and knowing your why is very important because it is going to inform how you approach and thus how you continue through this journey it is what is going to help keep you motivated it's what's going to help you keep keep you inspired um, and it's what is going to help you through the hurdles that you're going to encounter on this journey which those are just natural number two start with your favorites or the meals that you know you eat most commonly look up recipes look up raw alternatives pescatarian alternatives like whatever shift you're trying to make look up alternatives within that realm of your favorite most common eaten meals that's going to make it easier that's going to make it fun um and again another thing that keeps you inspired throughout this journey especially um at the forefront three don't expect things to taste the same okay it's just not gonna work like that like the cauliflower wings are not gonna taste like the 10 piece lemon pepper hot it's just not happening that way <laughs> that's that's the whole point it's not supposed to taste the same so if you are making such a drastic shift in that way like going from eating meat to going vegan or eating meat to going raw vegan or even going from vegan to raw vegan right you cannot expect those tastes and textures to be the same and don't try to cook in a way that mirrors that because then you're just still feeding that initial desire and and the hope is that if you're making this shift you're wanting to shift that so you're wanting to shift away from those desires or maybe you just want healthy versions of that and that's okay too but still even still with wanting healthy versions of what you were eating before you still cannot expect those new versions to look feel and taste the way the old versions do if that was the case then you probably not eating a real healthier version number four create a reward system for yourself listen whether it be you know if i eat within my realms all week on the weekend i can go to a restaurant i can go out to eat once on the weekend i can try a new restaurant i can try a restaurant within the nutritional realm that i am you know seeking to operate in whether it be i go get my nails done it doesn't even have to be food related i go get my nails done i go get a new outfit like whatever create a reward system for you as for me in my house okay listen i know i'm you know raw vegan it's, it's given but i still love a good chip so on the weekends i allow myself to have chips i allow myself to have a bag of chip on the weekends as a reward for all the ways that i have been disciplined and on my p's and q's all week so my reward system is a reward not only for how i treat my body with my food but also how i treat my mind body spirit and goals with my discipline and and, and um work ethic throughout the week so that's important there's nothing wrong with having a reward system okay um number five give yourself grace right lead with grace this is not making any sort of shift especially going from like meat eating to raw vegan is not a easy thing it's not a simple thing um, so give yourself grace. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to have slip ups. You're going to mess up. You're going to dibble and dabble and things like that. And that's okay. Like who going to check you? Who, who, who? And to that end, right? To that end of dibble and dabbling, my next tip is that 
know that just because you may be referring to yourself as any sort of title vegetarian pescatarian vegan raw vegan whatever that doesn't mean that you're not allowed to step outside of the traditional parameters of that title of what's associated with that title like it's okay like nothing is finite you're you're not less of a a vegan or less of a pescatarian because one time you went to the restaurant and you ordered a plate of chicken like it's okay like <laughs> like who gonna check you the only person you should be worried about checking you is you okay that is the only person you should be worried about checking and the last one that i have is don't start over just keep going if you are starting a new journey or if you're in the midst of your journey and let's say you're going raw vegan and you mess around and go to your family house and you have, you know, chicken, rice and peas like, OK, you had chicken, rice and peas for that meal. Did you enjoy it? Was it good? I hope so. OK, so you had chicken, rice and peas for dinner that night. So when you wake up the next morning, you just keep going. You get back to your bowl of fruit, your smoothie, you know whatever your plant-based waffles whatever it is that you would normally eat in that next meal like just keep going don't start over because if you are constantly telling yourself i'm starting over i'm starting over i'm starting over you're never really getting anywhere and remember we're leading with grace because part of the journey is the mess up part of the journey is what you learn when you trip and fall when you make a mistake when you slip up and, and and what you learn from that and what you do with that that's the success story the success story is not oh i decided to go vegan and then i never touched anything else outside of vegan food again like girl who who please it listen listen this is your journey this is your body you create and curate this in a, to the way that feels best for you. You know the difference in you putting forth a gallant effort and just making mistakes as natural and you being lackadaisical about your journey. What you get of the journey will show because if you know that you're being lackadaisical about it, then you won't, it won't be a fruitful journey for you. You'll still be in those same places, doing the same things, thinking the same thoughts, having the same attachments. Um, having the same dependencies but if you know that you're putting forth your best effort and you're really fighting for yourself based on whatever your why is you're still going to see the fruit not still you're definitely going to see the fruit of that because that's just natural reward natural consequence whichever word you want to use for it right like so know thyself <laughs> know yourself put your best foot forward and always lead with grace like that that's really all it is you know going into raw veganism you don't need to know all of these things and and, and things like that you just need to know your why um and stay committed to your why and your journey and seeing the fruit of whatever this process is for you you will learn everything that you need to know about the foods and things like that and the properties of the foods and what they do for you and the new flavors and, and, and how to put flavors together. You'll learn that as you make these meals, as you do your research. Um, listen, because I am no dietitian, I am no nutritionist, I none of that. I am just doing what I feel called to do for me and I'm learning along the way. And it is the most fun thing um to do if you have any more questions any questions based off of this any more questions about um my journey with raw veganism please drop them below in the comments and i will be sure to answer them as best as i can remember i'm nobody's health coach i'm just your friendly neighborhood home girl okay <laughs> okay i love y'all thank you for always rocking with me thank you for always sticking to the end of this video make sure you subscribe like comment share tell your mom and cousin uncle sister them you know all right as always be kind be well be loved